hello everyone so in the previous video we have explored about how we are going to create own gallery also we have set up some controls and UI here also as you can see I have added uh, a lot of dummy data inside my SharePoint list so I'm going to tell you that how you can utilize chat GPT to add the data I will switch over to my desktop as you can see we have one QNL list and here I have a lot of relevant data for this so what I did is I just use chat GPT for it and I have added a prompt like this it generate a QA and a question and answer for those departments and give the question and answer in the table format so I just need to copy this data I will go to my SharePoint list I will select edit in a grid view I will scroll to bottom and I will just paste it here just copy this data and I will just paste this so in this way you can generate as many questions you want in case if you want dummy data for your application and I will change the status of them to answered and let's say I will put them all in security department got it so in this way I mostly use chat GPT for dummy data generation now let's continue with our responsive gallery so we'll make the gallery completely responsive and I will open that Figma prototype also okay. so as you can see we almost achieved the user interface we want only thing we remain is to conditionally showing the modified date and modified by user value the button and the department so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to manage these values so as you can see we have the author and created date here and we have the modified and modified date here but in our application the functionality is whoever is going to create a question that user will not able to answer their question but if we enter any new data in the SharePoint list then the created and modified by value are same so what we are going to do here I will apply one condition that I will select this label of this modified name I am going to apply a condition that this item dot created by sorry, author which is our internal name dot display name or I will choose email because there are chances that display name will get similar equal to this item dot editor dot email so currently it is returning as true that is because the display name is Swami Nawale and I have logged in as a user and this is the very first entry of mine that's why it is showing that value so what I want if the both are same then I need it to display a normal dash otherwise display the modified by name and the same formula I will copy for the date also so what I'll do I will just put this here and I will use this formula to show the modified date and the only change we need to do is just need to replace the created to modified ok then another thing we need to do it's we have this question we just turn the wrap properties off because if there is a more text then it will appear like this I will show you See, maximum it will appear in three line if you want it you can keep it in the three line also 
so for now i will keep as it is then this settings we have done then the next thing we want to add a department here so what i will do i will just copy this button because the ui is much similar i will increase the height of it i will also increase the template height and i will also increase the container height and here i will put that button let's say what i will do i will reduce it height to let's say 20 or let's say 30 then the font size i want it's 10 points and the display mode is view because this is just to display the department we are not going to trigger any on click event on that and just remember that if you copy this button from here we also need to remove the formula from the on select and i will click on text because here we want to show the department so what i will do this item dot department dot value right so it is showing the department name as you can see so this thing is done we are able to show the department name also on the question cards and the next thing is remaining that is our submit response and show response button so for this i will use the another button i will set its display mode to edit because we are going to perform the on click event on that and for this submit response and show answer we are going to use a single button and we are in managing the functions using if else condition so let's say for the for those question who response is not submitted we need to show the submit response button and if the response is already submitted for the button we need to show the show answer text so let's manage the text first so i will go to text property and here what i will do if we need to show the text according to the question status so the property we have is if this item dot status dot value is equal to response pending then we need to show the text as submit answer and if it's not response pending then we need to show show answer or show response let me check what that is okay it's a submit response and show answer or we can keep it as it is submit answer show response i just need to reduce the width of it so as you can see here we have the submit answer because you can easily use using this yellow line you can see that the question is not answered yet that's why it is appearing in yellow and here as you can see submit answer is there here we have the show answer for these things that means the first condition is working fine the second thing we want is we need to change the background color of it so i will just click on this fill property here or you can just go to this drop down and select the fill i will remove the existing formula here and what i will do the same condition we need to add so for that condition i will just copy this go to its fill property and if the response is pending then we need to show the yellow color so for the yellow color what we are going to do i will just open that color palette website
yes i think this is the color palette we have to use so i will just copy this color code i will go here and i will select color value and i will just simply put that hex code here so for the submit answer we have the color yellow in the background and for the question who i show answer have the light yellow light blue color sorry so i'll copy this blue i think it's fine and again i will put comma and i will select color value and i will paste it here so i'll explain again this formula what this is if the current item status is response pending then we need to show yellow color in background and if it's a show answer then we are going to show blue color in the background so the second thing is done if i click on play as you can see this things are appearing then we are going to take a look at responsiveness so as you saw that this is not a responsive gallery so first i need to select the gallery then i need to go on a width and i have to select parent dot width here so we'll just confirm it is working yes it is working the next thing is the card values we are going to manage dynamically instead of manually so for the gallery we have the property called wrap count which is currently set as 3 if i set as 1 then there will be only one card in a row then i will select 3 here but i need this value to be dynamic so what i will do so earlier the issue was the property was working but we need to change to modify the formula a little bit so what we need to do app dot active screen dot size this formula we need to use so it returns 4 as you can see and if i play as you can see we have four cards in a group so let's say i will change this to tablet let's see what happen so it is also giving the 4 so let's switch over to mobile so it will be in the 4 Then the active screen wheels. This is the container. That's why it is appearing as a four. So for now, what we'll do, we'll just take it as a three. Then, if I play it, go to window sides. these things we have to manage this width we have to manage right because there is a lot of white space appearing here so what we are going to do we have to select the container for here and here the width is 406 406 which is static so what we are going to do we have going to put it dynamic so what we are going to write here parent dot template width not parent dot width it will take the complete width of the gallery minus let's say i will choose 50 here now let's say 40 i will play app so as you can see the width is dynamic now similarly what i need to do for the template size also i need to put the same formula so what i will do i will select the gallery i will click on this template size so currently it is 223 i will make around figure at 230 so the height will be And I will reduce the margin to, let's say, fifteen, x axis to fifteen, and this minus forty to thirty.
then uh, what we need to do we need to select this text because we have managed the width but we also need to manage this question title so click on this width and just select parent dot width then these names and date are going to be same so we just need to manage the submit answer button because as you can see the questions are appearing correctly but the submit answer button we want in the bottom right corner so what we will do we will put this formula like we use many times in the image and ask question button so just click on the x axis just write parent dot width minus self dot width minus let's say what with the margin I'll say 15 so now if I click on play as you can see the button is appearing perfectly in the bottom right corner and the department we want on the right also so we'll keep as it is one little change I'll do here I'll just use a little bit light blue background for this because the text is not that much readable so what I'll do I'll select the button I will go here and I will put the lighter color of the blue so yes now the text is more readable and I will increase the department tag width also okay so now we have managed to display the responsive gallery I will just hit on play as you can see now it is responsive then till now we have set up this search bar these departments the drop down ask a question button and the gallery like this the only thing I need to change I will select this top header control container and I will select the background as white so as you can see it is appearing mostly as we saw in the prototype then in upcoming video we are going to create a form that lets user ask a question and also we are going to make a power automate flow that we will integrate with our power apps so that if any new question added then the email will go to the department members so till now we have built all the UI stuff and we are going to build functionality okay if you have any questions please let me know in comments thank you